Okay, three in the diagram on the right shows five point A, B, C, D, E on the grid. Express the following vector in the form of resultant vector of I and J. So you see here I, this one is from A to B. So in term of I and J, so that's mean in term of X I plus Y J. So this one is in direction of X. What is the value in direction of X? And y is actually what is the direction value in y. So like the normal, when we have a uh, when we have plane like this, so when x when you are going to the left, right, left, then the value is negative. When you are going to the right, the value is positive. So same with y. So when you are going up, the value is positive. When you are going down, the value is negative. Alright, so now A to B. So you just make a line from A to B. So A to B is something like this. So you can see that it's moving right. You see here, right and up. So you can see that the both value of X and Y is positive. So for the X direction, so this one, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this one is 4i. And here you see here moving up by 1 point, so plus 1j or actually 1 you don't really need to write you can just write 4i plus j so this one is ab so number 2 b to a so you see here this one is a to b right so b to a so we have the same distance here but then with opposite direction this one is 1 this one is 4 but you can see that it's moving to the it's moving to the left and it's moving down. So the both value is negative. Or we can see that BA is actually the opposite direction of AB. So we can just make it as negative AB. So this one is negative. AB is 4i plus J. So here you get negative 4i minus J. So same thing. So negative 4 and negative 1. See here negative 4 because opposite direction. Negative 1 because going down. Okay, number 3, B to C. So, B to C, so it is here. B to C. So, this one is my box. So, you can see that it's moving to the left and going down. So, you see left and down. So, X from B to C, it is 1. So, this one is actually negative 1 I. At X direction, negative 1 I or just write negative I. So, here going down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Going down by 5. So this one is negative 5J. So this one is actually negative I minus 5J. You don't really need to write 1. So for example, like when we have X, right? So we don't write 1X. We just write X. So DC, so D to C here. So, DC is equal to, so here, DC is going to the right, just X direction, right? So, this one is 2. So, this one is 2, I. Okay, this one is 4, and then we have AC is equal to, so this one is AC. So you see, you can make box here. So from A to C, X direction is 1, 2, 3. So you see here, it's going to the right and down right. So X direction is positive. So this one is 3i. So the Y direction is 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's going down by 4. So this one is minus 4, J. Okay, and then this one, DE is equal to, so D to E is here, so X direction, so just this one, so 1, 2, 3, 4, so you see here going right and going up, so both direction is positive, so this one is 4I, and going up by 1, so this one is plus J. 1J or just J. Right.
We state the pair of vector that are parallel and explain your reason. So just now when we calculate, you can see that your answer for A, B and D, E is the same. right? So we see here A, B is equal to 4i plus j. And then D, E is also equal to 4i plus j. So this one is obviously A, B. The vector A, B is equal to vector D, E. We show that this one has the same Radian. So this one is obviously parallel because you can the same one. So the same vector. So going the same direction of x and y. So actually to know if this one is parallel, so you compare you compare the gradient. So gradient if your m la y is equal to mx plus c. So this one is your gradient. So the distance in y divided by distance in X. But then this one, because B is obvious that uh, it's obvious that the vector of A B is equal to D E, so there's nothing to calculate. But then if E is not equal, then you have to calculate your M. And if both M is equal, then it is parallel. C. C state the pair of vector that are negative and give your reason. So here. From up here, you see here you have D E, right? So D E of D to E, and then we have B A, B to A. So this one is actually, you see here, just the opposite of each other. So if you see here, if you write back what is the vector, so B A is equal to negative 4i minus J. And then D E is equal to 4i plus J. So you can see that, so you can see that here, here B A is equal to negative d e where when you write negative d e is 4i plus j you get negative 4i minus j or when you calculate your magnitude you see you see here you have 4 and you have 1 right so the magnitude of b a will be equal with magnitude with d e because in magnitude we use x because k okay, just calculate right so the magnitude of b a so the magnitude, what we do is that we actually calculate the hypotenuse, right? So this one is x square plus y square. So this one is basically 4 square plus 1 square. And DE is also the same. So for DE, this one is actually, where is DE? DE is, okay, BA is in the negative one, right? You have negative, negative. So when you square, you get positive 16 and 1. So this one is 4 square plus 1 square, you get 17 as well. So this one is why it is negative because you see here, because this one is opposite direction and you can prove it and then you, you, can, you can see that the magnitude is 